Hi, I'm Chris Bird with the Bird's Eye View. I just watched the Areola Stavern fight. Good heavyweight scrap. I mean, back and forth action. Uh, just a good fight overall. I want to talk about Chris Areola. I, I, I personally think he's still one of the top heavyweights. I mean, good fighter, but his weight. You know, I commentated a fight years ago where I, I looked at him and I'm like, man, you're going to be a dominant force if you could get your weight around 230, 230, 235. I mean, he could really be something special if he just got in shape and he got the heart, he got the, the chin and determination to, to really do damage in the, in the division, especially bringing the pressure. Because I, I, I have a sense that he'll be a lot faster. You know, everything will be more crisp. His punches will be even sharper if he got that weight off. But, you know, it was a good fight. And that's enough about him because really the night is, is about uh, Berman Stavern. It, it, you know, where'd he come from? Got criticized, you know, I guess for fighting Ray Austin, not looking real great. That's a style match out Ray Austin, like 6'6". Six, six. So, you know, he, get, he gets in this fight and prove to everybody, not only can he punch, but can last through 12 rounds using the jab, digging to the body, putting, you know, hand speed together for a big guy. And, and now he's number one contender to Vitaly Klitschko. Difficult matchup. Now we're talking about a, a, a size matchup, a height, a height differential where it's just a hard matchup. He needs to get down in weight around 230, 235 himself going into the fight so he can get through these rounds faster, putting on pressure, putting combination together, and constantly walk that man down because he's not going to be able to sit out and box Vitaly Klitschko. You know, no way that would happen. And, and Klitschko's too smart, too big, and, and too experienced to allow it to happen. But like I said, it's a great win for him. Come out of nowhere. I feel sorry for him because he, he's about to go into negotiations and he got Don King. And I, that's a little sidebar. I don't know how much money he's going to come home with, but, you know, at least he get the opportunity. So, you know, great win for uh, Stiburn, and, and he moves on, and, and hopefully he'll get into the fight and do well. And, and for Chris, Chris Ariola, I don't think he's done. He's uh, just need to get in shape and get back. You know, he got the motivation, but the conditioning is lacking. And he took some big shots in this fight, and I think... He, you know, he need to go back to the drawing board, learn. The, the division is, you know, it, it's a lot of pretty good headweights out there. And I think it, it's coming around where we're going to have a really nice headweight division in a couple of years. I mean, like solid guys, especially if they fight. And uh, another box I want to talk about is another heavyweight, uh, uh, Wilder. The, uh, he's six foot seven, probably 225, Deontay Wilder. And... 28 no 28 knockouts today he knocked out um, a train from from England uh, he, just a just a good win you know he's a hard matchup for a lot of heavyweights and, and I want to talk about him because he's patient he waits on his right hand and he has a major heavyweight punch that makes it even harder for the smaller heavyweights to try to deal with him so he had a big win in England today against Ollie Harrison and and he's an up-and-coming guy also. So, you know, th this is the heavyweight division that's coming around. You got a lot of American heavyweights. They need to start fighting each other. And when they do, it's going to just explode. And going back to uh, Stavern, it was really his night. Number one contender. And he's he going to do well. Check out the Bird's Eye View next Thursday where we're going to have Mikey Garcia, uh, featherweight champion. And just check it out. Thanks a lot.